Hola, me bishes. Tis I, Clovis, aka Manny Bish, on Instagram. Um, today I am doing. I'll have my inspo inserted here in the corner somewhere so you guys can see. Um, v nailed it. Did a set of nails on a client that I really loved, and I wanted to try and recreate. And she's way better at nail art than I am, but I still tried. And of course, I tried this on my dominant hand, which means I am using my no boy no hand to do all of this nail art with. So, um, this whole video is sped up double time pretty much because. I work extremely slow when using my left hand because I'm just so nervous that I'm going to make a complete mess. I try and go really, really, really slow. So most of my videos, though they look, most of my videos where I'm working on my right hand, though they look um, pretty decent speed when I'm actually working on the nail. If you pay attention when I'm like mixing something or reaching for something, it's just really, really fast. That's because it is sped up. And when it's the opposite way and I'm working on my left hand, nine times out of ten, everything is more on the real speed of time because I work a lot faster and more efficiently. So, anywho, now that that's over with, I am going in with my two-in-one Manny Boss top coat, base and top coat, flash curing for 10 seconds. And then I'm rubbing this Sunshine Chrome from Sparkle & Co. all over my nail, all over all five fingers. All of my nails are going to have this. This chrome is so pretty and it is so pigmented. I thought, I didn't know or realize that it was going to be a full opacity mirror chrome situation. I thought it, I guess I was hoping it was going to be more on the sheer side like um, the one that V used in her Manny that she did. But nonetheless, I was like, well, this is what I have. This is the closest that I have to that kind of chrome and we're just gonna go with it and I loved this Manny and <laughs> it made me feel Philly it made me feel it. wow I cannot talk it made me feel very psychedelic and hippie like which is not a bad thing it's just unusual well I can't even say it's unusual for me because it's really not I don't mind being associated, I guess, as a hippie. I'm not, I'm not really, but sometimes I probably dress like it. But, anywho, that was a weird, like, thing to get on. Um, after I did the chrome, I fully cured, finished the cured, finished, wow, finished the cure off for another minute. Now I'm top coating my chrome because I could have gone right in with the art, but I knew that there was going to be some things that I was going to mess up on the art that I was going to want to wipe away. And if I did that, and without top coating this chrome, the chrome would have gone with it. So I wanted to make sure that my chrome was safe and protected. So I went ahead and did a layer of top coat, um, cured for 60 seconds, and then went in with my art. But, um, and here I'm mixing this nude called Nude Lines or something like that along those lines, um, from Care Sky, and then this orange from the liner gel stuff that I have from Amazon, just trying to make a more of a not a nude, not that cool tone nude that I had going on, but more of like a brown, a light brown situation, which you will see why. This green, I could have left it alone, and I think it would have been fine, but I added a tiny spot of white 
and mixed in in there and we got this real pretty neon color i thought the green was more neon without it and i was like oh this white will make it pastel and like looking at it on camera it did not make it pastel it made it more neon but whatever it looked good on the nail so now what i am doing is going in and creating the little tops of my mushrooms so they're not full like dots or circles um there's like a i left a little bit of like a c chunk coming out of the bottom if you can tell um just little blobs kind of messily haphazardly strewn about um and i flash cared that for 15 seconds now i'm going in and creating the white part of the mushroom so like the inside more or less and all i'm doing is finishing off that circle i am um again not being perfect with it because a mushroom is not perfectly circle shaped round whatever it's just not but i'm just creating the inside of that mushroom i am going over the red a little bit and then like down the bottom of it to create that inside i'm going to be flash curing this as well for 15 seconds and now i am going to be creating this star um this did not go as planned so you will only be seeing a few snippets of this star because I did end up, again, like I said, I knew that there was going to be something that um, I was going to be wiping away, and it was a star. And looking at it now, it wasn't actually that bad, but in the moment, I did not like it, and I just wiped it away, and I took a breather because I am one of those people that if I don't get it right on the first try, I do get kind of upset and like start getting frustrated, and... I find that when that happens, I just, when I don't get something on the first try on my nails, I will just move on to something else and then go back to it and usually be fine. So I'm just doing these little um, random dots throughout um, the Manny. White little specks here and there on my nails. And then we're going to try again on some stars. And on her Manny, she also had like crescent moon shaped on there. I thought about trying that, but I didn't have the right kind of yellow for that. And though I could have mixed it, I just didn't, I, I don't know, just didn't see it coming together in the Manny future so left it alone um so here I am <laughs> this these um shapes of things why I <laughs> why I chose to do it with this hand I don't know I am creating um a star but not like a not a star shaped star a um you know a this shaped star the x's of things that's the shape of star i went for on my pinky and then i'm just creating little or creating i'm not creating those dots um i'm just putting dots on my nails uh those are not hard to do so <laughs> that's what i'm doing there now we're gonna go in with the index finger and try to do this again uh i did get it right this time i uh well we just we got it better we did we did we did so i did the outline of the star and then i just filled in those spaces and that was what was it just came together quite nicely and I this kind of made me laugh so after I did this Manny I really got into watching the whole Johnny Depp and um Amber Heard trial situation 
controversial, whatever. I am Team Johnny 100% of the way. Anyways, um, <laughs> at the end of having this Manny on, Amber started her <laughs> Amber started her testimony and was talking about how they were doing mushrooms and all the stuff at the campfire or whatever. And I was like, huh, this is kind of ironic that I have mushrooms on my nails right now. Interesting. And then I took it off because it started coming off. But it was just kind of funny that I, I was like, huh, I have mushrooms on my nails. And they're talking about doing mushrooms. Hmm. And that just added to the whole psychedelic feel of everything. <laughs> but again, just creating those stars on my index fingers. I only did the mushrooms on the middle and ring finger. And those were the fingers that she did those on and I thought about doing it on my um thumb too but I honestly really liked the lesser of the mushrooms than the more of the mushrooms um they're really cute and I felt like actually having less just kind of made them stand out more so I left it alone um even though I thought about it I was like mm, no we'll leave it as just those two fingers and again adding my little dots and um i am going to i don't know why i was trying to add those dots with that um, dotting tool i had a fuzz stuck on my dotting tool i don't know why i was trying to add those dots with my liner brush because clearly they were barely barely any specks coming off of that brush trying to do it that way so resorting back to my liner brush or oh my god wow I cannot talk um dotting tool um I'm using the tiny side to add those little dots on the top of the mushrooms I gotta say this Manny did come together quite nicely I was pretty happy with it I just wiped some of the dots off of this one because I didn't like they were like the way they were looking and now I am going in and adding the stems of the mushrooms. And this part was harder than I thought it was going to be. Um, it didn't look quite right to me at first. But I didn't want to be messing too much with them. Because I knew that if I like started messing with them... It would come out worse. I wouldn't like it any better. And it, was, it would just turn into a whole ordeal. So I only corrected the one that I thought really, really needed it. And that was that one. And then I'm also... I flash, I flash cured all of this stuff in between. 15 seconds every little bit. And now I'm creating the veins so I'm only doing this on the white part of the mushroom, not taking it past the white. And I'm using that same brown that we did the stem with. And I'm just trying to create little bitty veins inside of the mushroom. So that was that. And it was so hard to do with how little the inside of the mushrooms were. But somehow I was able to do it. Flash cured. Again, now we're taking the green and we're doing leaves. So I am like trying to start off with more pressure. And then as I'm pulling away from the beginning of the leaf, like release some of that pressure to make it smaller that way it just gives that nice like gradient like thick to thin kind of look and um cleaning around what i feel like i need to sometimes you don't have to take away the whole thing you just need a little brush with some alcohol on it alcohol on it to wipe away what needs to be wiped away but sometimes the whole thing doesn't need to be wiped away so just keep that in mind um, so I just use my little angled brush here and there during this part and then creating the actual like stem 
um, branch part for the leaves to um, on a few of them I did just do like just the little leaves I didn't worry about the stem branch but um, so that would be I think these little leaves I created I started off with two dots on these ones and I found that this worked really really good and of course I figured it out on the last set of leaves that I did was to start with two dots kind of like doing a heart and then wiping your brush off and dragging out from there and of course after I got all of that done I put it in the light for a full minute to make sure all of the gel polish was cured and now we are going back in again with the Manny Boss 2-in-1 gel base and top coat. Soon they will be releasing individual liquids so they'll have a gel base in one bottle, they'll have a gel top coat in one bottle, and they're gonna have a matte gel top coat which I am so excited about. So yay! I cannot wait for that. I'm like anxiously waiting honestly because I already have stuff in my cart for Manny Boss and I'm just waiting for those to be released so I can just buy it all together. But anywho, um, we are capping our edges and then I'm going to put this in the light for another full minute and that will be our Manny. I really 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 did like the way that this came out. I was super happy. There was no dip involved in this Manny. Um, my base was my builder gel. My Manny Boss pink, uh, pink lace builder gel was my base. And then I just went on top of that with the gel, chrome, art, and that was it. So this was my Manny, guys. And I hope you enjoyed this video and this fun Manny that I did. I will catch y'all in the next one. Bye, bitches.